Oh, things went very well here at the show today. There was a big crowd, which is the main thing, and a lot of people in from the community. Um, everything went very well. The weather stayed good. Things are just hotting up now on the soccer pitch with the lesser events, I suppose, getting on, the tug of war, the more fun events getting on with all the animals gone and everything that. So the, it's just time now for me to be hitting the road. It's coming up on time to be heading off for the game and getting things ready for the game. So it's time to be hitting the road and going for that. That's it, really. Off to the game and hope everything goes well there. If it goes as well as it did down here, I'll be very happy. So that's it. See you at the game. Yeah. Five o'clock, yeah. Half seven is that? I, I, I hope my game is nothing. Six, isn't it? Definitely. Yeah. So that's um. I. Right. Radio. Okay. Talk to you. Right. Well, at, at the moment we were just in transit to the venue where the game is going to be, but we're a bit tight for time at the moment. We're just, we're actually going up earlier than normal because uh, there was a game on beforehand and I'm actually officiating at that. I'm doing lines well. That's another duty I do within Leisure County Board. And it's just, we're kind of cutting for time and heading up there. We're going to that game and then straight away afterwards we'll be into our own game. And just a long journey up, basically, trying to get to the venue on time and get everything on the road and on the way, the lads are meeting back in Manor Hobbiton and they'll be coming up behind us and they'll be up then. This is actually the town we're going through now, this little village is called Drumshambo and Drumshambo would be the Allen Gales club who we're actually playing against today. It's only by chance that the venue we were playing in Balnamore, we have to drive through Drumchambo in order to get to Balnamore. So I'm sure you might see some of these Alan Gales boys out here getting ready to go to the game too. So this is the opposition? This is the opposition town. This is their territory. I'm sure a lot of them are nervous about the whole game and everything. They'll probably be meeting up at their football park with just out the road here. How do you feel actually going through the opposition town? Well, it's interesting. I'm just looking around to see who can, who I can spot. Can you actually see any players? Cause you'd love to see the players and see their reaction to your top and see, you know, do you know, do they like it? Do they dislike it? Cause, you know, can they sense any fear themselves? You know, because. A lot of the things in football as well is sending out a message, whether it's showing off your jersey or whatever, and getting into the mind and the psyche of other players. So, just I, I'd like for them to see me see me going up so early that they'd be thinking, "Geez, Manor Hamilton are going up two hours before the game." That's how well prepared they are, you know. It just gets into the mind, and if you can get into the mind of a player, an a opposing player, it's a great thing because you could have that little bit over them that could win you the small balls that you need to win the every little small inches that you need to win in games even if it's only seeing me although i'm not a player when they see me driving by they can't actually define who i am just that i am a glen carman or hamilton person ocean fm sports update Disappointment for the Donegal minor ladies. They've been beaten in the All Ireland A Football Championship final by Galway on a scoreline of 115 to 111. But the Leitrim minor girls have won the All Ireland minor B Shield competition. They defeated Fermanagh in Cavan a little earlier this afternoon. Congratulations to all of them. Dublin uh, have it all the runway so far in Crow Park. There's 32 minutes gone and they lead loud 
by one goal and six to just a point. Already Monaghan have been knocked out of the championship. They lost their qualifier tie against Kildare on a scoreline of 115 to one goal and 11. And of course, the big game this evening is Sligo versus Down in the qualifiers. It's live from seven o'clock. Huge reports of traffic delays, or long reports, or reports of long traffic delays, I mean to say, in Carrigan Shannon. Do avoid Carrigan Shannon if you are traveling to the game. It gets underway at seven o'clock in Kingspan, Breffney Park, and we'll have the full game live here, right here on Ocean FM. Linesman Park. Thanks. Around the back, yeah? Around the back? Cheers. So this is the venue where the game is going on today, where I'm doing linesman, where our guys are going to be playing. None of them are here, here yet, the rest of them. This is just a game that's happened in the four hours. I'm just officiating that doing the lines, man. Basically, that's it. But to make it safe and everything, making sure everything runs okay. Did you expect any trouble? Ah, no. No, no, look, look. The two teams are up to play football, to play championship. That's what it's all about. That's what they're playing for. They don't want any hassle at all. This is a physical game, but it's no trouble. No, it's seven of us here to watch. No, no, it wasn't a blue ball, but I thought the referee was giving the free. It was a blue ball. Oh, 